Hi, it's Dr. Toya, um, and I want to make sure I address all of the questions on this video because they were pretty good, and I'm sure they'll help somebody. So this one says, does a pap smear show inflammation of the cervix, or is that normally visual? And the answer is both. So we can see sometimes if the cervix is very um, inflamed. Sometimes on the cervical cancer screening report, they'll say things like yeast present or BV, but we try not to go by that. We go by symptoms. So it's very rare that I will treat somebody based off of the PAP result, um, especially if it says something like trichomonas, which is an STD. Um, that is actually recommended if it says trichomonas to bring them back in and test them separately because it can be false. And with things like yeast and BV, if you're asymptomatic, it's not an accurate way to test for that. Uh, the other part of it is Sometimes if you're doing a traditional PAP as opposed to HPV um, screening only, some of the PAP results can be caused by just inflammation. So if you have a result that's called ASCUS, um, that doesn't necessarily mean you have precancer changes. It could just be that there's some kind of inflammation that causes the cells to look abnormal and they group it into this catch-all category of we don't know what's going on, but something looks a little bit weird, right? So I hope that answers your question. Um, let me know if you have any more questions in the comments and as always, like and follow for more.